Hey Dennis, uh, kind of a two-part question. What, what did you make of uh, the Devin Booker foul, and then prior to that, uh, on the Tory Craig foul, where your ankle got kind of tennis underneath you? Uh, what did that like? I mean, on the N1, going to the lane, I think I stepped on his foot, um, tweaked my ankle a little bit, but I mean, I got treatment on it, and uh, I'm going to treat it tonight at home, take care of it, and uh, I mean, on the Devin Booker foul, end of the day, you know, we're competing, doing everything, um, you know, to, to get in people's heads and whatever, but I mean, that's not a basketball play, um, and I'm going to just leave it at that. To quickly follow up, do you think you guys are in our heads a little bit? I mean, you had that foul, crowd or ejected right after that. You guys have been pretty physical with them all series. Do you feel like you guys have the mental edge? I mean, we got to, you know, um, play our game and just being physical, you know, um, hit man as a hit first mentality and, um, you know, just be be with them. Don't make them, you know, be comfortable and don't go and one of the set plays easy, and um, I mean, we, we got to hit first. And um, I think that's what we did tonight, and was better from game two to game three, and we tried to get better each game. And um, I mean, today, you know, we played great defense, and um, I mean, we just got to keep, you know, keep building on that. Okay. Hey, guys. Sorry. Uh, did you, well, sorry. Uh, campaign and, and Jay Crowder obviously are kind of the, the tough talkers for Phoenix. Um, you know, I know you do a bunch of roles on this team, but do you kind of consider that to be sort of one of your roles for the Lakers, kind of being the guy who can talk back and, and talk to crap? At the end of the day, uh, my mom raised me uh, right. At the end of the day, when somebody talks to me first, I'm going to talk back. And it don't matter who it is. If somebody talks to me disrespectfully, I'm going to do the same thing. So at the end of the day, uh, we're going to battle there. You know, nobody's going to disrespect me. At the end of the day, I mean, I just talked back and somebody um, took it too sensitive and, uh, I mean, fouled me. But at uh, end of the day, I, I mean, if somebody talks, I, like, I love trash talking. If somebody talks to me, I'm going to talk back. And uh, you know, we're just going to compete on the highest level. We can do that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm always for that. Avery Dennis. Dennis, after you hit the floor, the cameras caught you. You kind of flashed a smile, then you did some knuckle push-ups. Was that kind of a message to me as if, like, you can do what you want, but it's not going to affect me? Yeah, I mean, it don't matter. Um, like I said, that wasn't a basketball play um, in the regular season. That's probably a suspension as well. <laughs> and uh, um, I mean, like I said, it's uh, kind of tough. My mom did a great job, you know, um, raising me. And uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Time for a couple more, Jordan Richard. Hey, Dennis, um, you scored a lot in the middle pick and roll. Uh, was that something that you guys focused a lot on in the film? Because um, you guys ran it a lot with you and AD, mm. and uh, also others too as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, mid floor pick and roll, I think on the middle of the floor, um, the AD comes in sprinting into it, I think uh, creates, you know, first off separation, but we got, you know, because they, are so so much uh, they sinking so much and they so you know uh, packed up in the lane swarming teams like that so we got to be you know picking our spots be aggressive come off with uh, with speed and then um, when you get into that paint you know just make uh, great decisions and um, I mean first off you know when you come off the pick and roll you got to be aggressive uh, looking to score and if not you dump it off on AD and um, I mean we starting to starting to click and uh, we just got to keep like I always say keep getting better game by game watch film tomorrow or the day after and then see where we can improve on I mean we had 20 turnovers too many um, and uh, end of the day we still won by 14 but you know in, uh, in close games you don't want that you know every possession counts um, but we know that so we're going to watch film and try to get better at that
Last question, Christos. So. Yes, we are doing well. Let me ask you, how many steps in the right direction do you feel that you made as a team in the last couple of games in Arizona and tonight? Say that again. How would you like to maintain? Say that again, sir. How many steps in the right direction do you feel that you made as a team in the last couple of games? And what would you like to maintain? I mean, uh, we first game, we played terrible. Second game, uh, we did a great job on the defensive end, you know, allowing, I think, 99 points, I believe. Um, played better. Um, I mean, today, uh, we was better than the um, game two in Phoenix. And uh, game four, we tried to be better than, you know, tonight. And uh, I think that's our main focus uh, from this organization. Try to get, you know, every game, try to get better, uh, watch film, everybody individual and as a team, and see where we can improve on, um, on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side. And um, I mean, we did that so far. We, you know, got better every game, and we got to do that on uh, Sunday as well.